Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, today we have another, it's going to be another unboxing video. I got another headlamp um, to try out. We kind of running out of headlamps, so I decided to get a new one. And this particular headlamp is quite interesting. It's a MillerTech headlamp. Um, MillerTech is a, maybe more of a smaller um, company. They sell batteries for like golf carts and fishing boats and all that stuff. So... They sell headlamps as well, obviously, so that's why I got a headlamp from them, but they usually sell other things, so they're not quite as well known. Um, also, another interesting thing, this particular headlamp um, was not, there are no videos on it about YouTube, um, there weren't anyway, um, and no blog posts about it, like, or anything like that, and there are no reviews on it on their website, and it wasn't on Amazon either, so there was absolutely nothing about this headlamp, except what they had on their website, so I decided to order it and see what kind of headlamp it is, so... It's going to be really interesting. I don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but let's be honest, it's kind of a mystery headlamp, but I think it's going to be pretty good according to the specs. So first of all, it comes in a really nice box, um, nice black side here, Miller Tech, um, nice headlamp thing on the back. It's a really nice headlamp box, um, really well packaged. I really like it. Um, looks really professional and everything, really nice. So it includes the headlamp, um, the band and all that stuff. Um, so it's turbo is 2200 lumens for about 30 seconds. Um, that's the way the headlamp is like. Um, it basically just snaps into those things there. And it's a light in the middle. Um, has um, four Cree XP G3 LEDs. Um, high mode is 1500 lumens. Low is 100 lumens. Um, turbo is 20 lumens for 30 seconds. On high mode it's two and a half hours on 1500 lumens. And low is 100 hours on 100 lumens. Um, and smooth dimming and all that. So um, that's all stuff that it has. So we'll see about, I'm not sure if it'll hold 15 lumens for two and a half hours or not. It might, I don't know. And the other cool thing, this um, light has a five year warranty. As well as do all the other lights. Um, has a five year warranty on it. So if it goes bad, I could send it in. And they, at least they're reputed, they're supposed to have really good service too. So that's nice. Um, so yeah. Oh, by the way, another thing I'll say, um, these snap things here, you can get replaceable snap things um, that would probably fit this headlamp and bands as well. So let's open it up. So how does this thing go? It doesn't open up here, I don't think. Maybe that took care of it. I don't know. Anyway, enough of that. So they come with a phone charger, I guess, or a fast charging for it in the uh, car, which I probably won't use that much, but hey, it's helpful to have, I guess. Next is the clip thing for the headlamp. Um, it's plastic, of course. Um, feels maybe slightly flimsy, but I don't know. Uh, they, so they do sell extra ones for about two bucks or something, so you know, you need another one, you can get one fairly easily. Actually, wait. I just remembered, this is, an, I just, this is an extra one. Look at that. They have one in there. Here's an extra one. So if that breaks, I have an extra one here. So that's nice. And if this one breaks, I can get another one. So that's cool. USB-C cord. Um, and, of course, the headlamp itself. Wow, that is a nice headlamp. It has the uh, warranty thing and... Yeah, manual, I guess. Um, okay, so let's get to the headlamp itself. So it has just a single band, um, no headband. Um, it sits in these straps, in these strap things here. Um, and it feels pretty solid. It's made out of good military grade aluminum. Um, so I'll do this out, and it's fully adjustable too, um, apparently. So that's really helpful. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It has, again, it has a 4 XPG 3 LEDs with an orange pure reflector inside. Um, yeah, it looks like a pretty solid light to me. Um, yeah. Let's check it. Let's get the battery out. See what the battery is like. I think this is where we get the battery out. Um, hmm. So it's got this thing in there, which is a little bit uh, weird. Of course, and then you have to get this tab out so that way that won't work. Um, okay, so they have a 
18650 3500 mAh high capacity battery that powers the headlamp. Um, Miltech battery. Let's put that back in there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, stick this thing back on and see how it's like. The threads on here um, are maybe, I don't know if you can see or not there, but they look like they're maybe they're a little bit on the small side. Kind of, kind of this is some people commenting, they look small, maybe a little bit cheap. Um, threads are not super great, but um, they feel pretty cheap. They feel kind of gritty and cheap. And this end cap feels kind of light and cheap as well. Does not feel super high quality. At least, yeah, that part doesn't feel super high quality either. Um, fortunately, the main headlamp part itself, this part right here, does feel pretty good though. So, yeah. Anyway, see, I'm going to shine the wall here. Let's see how bright it is. Pretty bright. Boom. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so I'm not sure is that high. Actually, that was um, high, I think. Or maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I need to look at the manual again. Anyway, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's the light. Um, pretty nice. I'm going to turn you off and we'll figure it out and um, see how bright it is after dark. Alrighty, guys. So we're out here um, in the darkness. And we are going to um, test out that headlamp and see how bright it is out here. Um, so first of all, a couple things. Um, the first thing is that that headlamp is actually not fully charged yet. Um, one thing that's kind of weird, I'm guessing it's probably about 75% charged, because I showed it was on full power when I first got it. Uh, but it was charging for more than three hours, so I'm not sure how that's supposed to be. It should be charged, fully charged right now, but it isn't. So I don't know. Um, I guess it's not full power. Fully charged, so we'll see how that is once it's fully charged. But it's, it should be close, so it should be good. Um, also, there's a tree out there in the field, a triangle tree. It looks like a triangle. Um, it's about 100 meters, 100 yards maybe. And there's a house out there, a white house that's about 267 yards or something. Um, so that's just kind of some basic stuff for you to know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and try out that light, see how bright it is. Okay, guys, so we're out here with this um, headlamp. Um, it's not fully, again, it's not fully charged, so yeah, we'll start at the bottom of the ramping mode. Okay, so first of all, this is the last aid brightness that I had on the ramping mode. I'm not sure how many loons it is, but it's somewhere between 100 and 1500, probably a thousand maybe, or 1200. This thing isn't fully charged, so it's probably not the full lumens. Okay, let's ramp it all the way down to the bottom. It's dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. 100 lumens right there. Let's go back up to the top, up to 1500 lumens. Okay, after it does a little blinky thing, that's 1500 lumens there. So that's not too shabby, it's pretty decently bright. The other thing is, um, if you see it has a bit of a hot spot there in the middle, but not much. It's fairly wide. Um, those logs right there are probably about, I don't know, 15 yards away or something. It looks farther away in the camera, but it's really not very far away, actually. So, it's hitting a tree out there in the field that's about 100 yards away, just barely, but it's not picking it up on the camera. So, now let's do a turp at 2200 lumens. Boom. It's not a lot brighter, but definitely a little bit. Nice white flood, though, for sure. It's turbo mode. Again, this thing is not fully charged yet, I don't think, so that will be brighter once it's fully charged. And I might do a video about walking around with it later sometime, but for tonight, this is just a review of the flashlight. Alrighty, so yeah, that's the basic modes of the flashlight. If you do a step down there at the end, you do a single click that goes to the last stage brightness setting you used on the stepping mode or ramping mode. If you don't go to the ramping mode and set a brightness level, it will be low on the first click and then high on the next click and then it'll go off again. So then this, oh, I didn't click fast enough though. So this is uh, last stage setting and then, okay, wait, last stage setting. And I guess that was high, so it stays on high and goes back, turns back off again. So if I turn turn it on, I'm going to ramp down just a little bit to about there, or maybe um, to about there or so, then that goes back up to high and I turn it off. So that goes to elastic brightness, that goes to high, and then it goes off. Um, 
if you didn't use it in um, this, if you didn't see a ramping brightness, it'll just go to low and then high and so on. So that's the basic um, way the light works. That's how bright the light is. For comparison, I'm going to get my do night um, flashlight that's 1800 lumens on high. The battery is low, so it might not be the full brightness, but it will give you an idea of what um, how 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 this light how bright this light is. All right, so here's this light on uh, 1800 lumens. Definitely a little bit brighter, but also has more of a spotlight beam. And it does shine farther too, and it is brighter, obviously. So I don't think this light here is fully charged yet. Um, once it's fully charged, it'll be a bit brighter. And this thing has more of a spotlight beam too, so that makes a difference as well. So, sorry about the wind. And it's quite cold out here too, just saying. So yeah, anyway, um, that's pretty much it for that light. Um, for this headlamp, I'll charge up some more, see how bright it is. Might do some more videos with it later. But yeah, it's a decent headlamp, pretty nice. Um, kind of light that I wanted, um, pretty much. Feels kind of cheaply made, some parts of it feel cheaply made. Um, and some parts of it aren't ideal, but I think it'll work pretty good. Um, I might do an update later, see if it's, do an update later about whether it's working good or not, and some other things like that. But for now, I would say, I'd probably give it about a four and a half or four, 4.5 or 4.6 out of 5. It's overall very good headlamp with just a couple things that, you know, it could be a little better, but I, I would say it's a good headlamp overall. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's a nice headlamp. I enjoyed it. Um, anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I forgot about that. Bye.